What's that, man? It's your boy Papa Duck, man. Check this out. Let me show y'all just how backwards and brainwashed we are as people. Now, your mama or your grandma can tell you, don't bring that drug money in my house. You can't, don't, I don't want none of your drug money. That's the devil's money. You get you in the streets, you get this off drugs. But a turn around and send you to the drug store. What's the difference between drugs on the streets and pharmaceutical drugs? It's a big difference. One is put on the streets, which kills less people than the ones that's put in the stores. But that's how brainwashed we are as people. Your grandma tell you don't come in my house with that drug money, but I send you to the drug store to get her drugs. They even call it the drug store. That's crazy as hell to me. And these are the things you need to think about. I read a long time ago, right? That basically what they're doing is they're dumbing society down so low that if you came to a person with, with, a, with, a, with a compiled amount of evidence of something being true, they still wouldn't believe it. That's how dumbfounded we're gonna be. And if you think about what I'm saying, we headed directly that direction. How is it that a person was born a certain, as a, as a man, and, and able to attend sports with women? Now, genetically, we know there's a big difference. They are dominating women's sport right now, but that reversal is the new norm. Again, we're being dumbed down so, 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 so low until we're at an animal state. It gets even worse. The things we allow children to do, giving them all the, basically the authority over, over, um, over adults, because they know they can call uh, whoever and you know, get the person in trouble. You can't say this to them, you can't do that. Soft parenting. How and whenever was a child able to do this? Not when I was growing up. I came out just fine. But again, conse consequences without, let me say, uh, actions without consequences results to chaos. You cannot allow children to do that. Not, you can't allow nobody to do that without consequences. But we're living in a society where I keep telling y'all, our children aren't our children. It's their children, it's their property. And you don't see that. You think they're coming to get the child and putting the child in and in, in protect the custody and doing all this and putting them up here and that. They're protecting their property. You see how that works? I'ma cut back here. Now, check this out. With children, right? You think they're just allowing children to be who they are for nothing? Children having more authority, really, over the, over the, over the parents or even over the adults or the whoever, whoever supervising them at the time? Because children know that, they, oh, I could call such and such, I could call them, I could. And we give them that authority. When in the hell ever have a child had that much authority over a grown up? Not when I was coming up. And again, I don't want y'all to think that when they come, and they, they trying to see about the child, they want to put the child in a better environment and get the child from the, no, they're protecting their property. I keep telling y'all, when your child is born and you sign that birth certificate, you sign your child over to the state, to the government. You think a birth certificate is? This is basically what you're doing. And like, I, the, the thing about it is, man, I never thought I'd see the day to where we'll, we'll be so confused with roles and Letting, the, letting them give us, like, if you think about it, right? When I say they're dumbing us down so far to our reality gonna be so impaired, like I tell y'all what a psychosis is, where your feelings and emotions been so impaired to you don't know the difference between what's real and what's fake. Your reality is so thrown off. They give us a president that can't even tie his own shoe. We talking about a dude can't tie his own shoe running the free world, and we go for it. Ain't, no, ain't nobody protesting, ain't nobody saying nothing about this, ain't nobody kicking up no dope. Yeah, yeah, you hear little whispers here and there. But I've seen people go off bad on other things that was less important than something like this. People, we got to wake the fuck up. And I hate to say it like that, but it's getting to that point. What's gonna be 
really too late and it's damn near there. It is damn near there. But I'm just showing you how brainwashed we are, how, how, how screwed we are, bro. Letting these people run the free world, right? Letting these people give us the lowest vibration and the lowest version of humanity ever, right? And exploiting us in ways to where we don't even understand. Like the average person don't understand this, this situation that they're in. They're so engulfed in it, they don't even know. Like I said, man, how can some, how can your parents tell you don't want no drug man in their house, but they can send you to the drug store? Think about that. Think about that. People, we gotta tighten up. We gotta tighten up. And the crazy part is, um, I really, really, really hope that we all come together on this CBDC thing. Because I'm telling y'all, once that hit, it is over. It's a done deal. It's a done deal, bro. All the stuff you think you're gonna be able to do, you're not gonna be able to do. And they're gonna attack us from the businesses because they know with the businesses, if they if they run scarcity to the businesses on not complying with this, which the businesses is gonna pass it down to the employees, same way they did the other BS we've been going through for the last so many years, y'all know what I'm talking about. They attacked it, the employ the employers first, which trickled down to the employees. The livelihood and we have to stand up and say man man fuck that man we ain't going for that man we ain't going for that because if we don't you might well tell your children's and their children's that i did absolutely nothing to put y'all in the situation that y'all about to be in because <laughs> that's exactly what's gonna happen so with that being said man i just had to stop and, and, and run that and, and, and get people to understand, like, bro, we is we we heading down a, a, a rabbit hole that, uh, trust me, but a lot of people ain't even ready for. But again, remember what I told you: they're dumbing society down so low that if you come to a person with a compiled amount of evidence, they're still not gonna believe it. You basically don't even know no better. You're basically gonna be a, a, a like I say, they bring it to an animal state, and therefore they can control you. So, hopefully, man, y'all get some out of this video. And like I tell y'all all the time, in order for you to be found, you must first be lost. Let's get it together, people. All right? It's your boy Papa Duck, man. I'll let y'all on next. Peace. Uh-uh. That's a Papa Duck beat.